I'm gonna be honest. Your jackets, they suck. But that's why you need to watch this video so I can tell you about all the types of jackets you need to own as a man. If you own all these seven jackets, you'll be super stylish and your crush might actually respond to your texts. First up, we have one of the most classic jackets of all time and it's of course the leather jacket. Now, this comes in all shapes, sizes, textures. There's so many different ones. So I understand if it's hard to find the right one for you. For this, you just have to look at what other people are wearing and take inspiration. Probably my favorite ones are those that are made out of suede leather. I think those just look super clean and yeah, I love them. Like this, for example, which my grandpa gave me. It looks really cool and it fits great with my body proportions. But the best thing about this jacket is that I can wear it both casually and formally. It's very versatile, which is what we want when we only have seven jackets. Another type of leather jacket I really like are thrifted ones, like this one. This is a thrifted leather jacket and it's very old, which you can see by the distressing of the leather. This gives it a lot of personality and you look really tough, which many people are attracted to. Maybe in your crush. The next type of jacket you absolutely need in your jacket rotation is a good quality rain jacket. Especially for me living in Norway, this is an absolute essential. I would not be able to live without this Arcteryx jacket. It rains so often here that it's it's probably one of my most used jackets like ever. This one actually keeps me completely dry throughout an entire rainy day. You can also find a lot of cheaper, cooler rain jackets. But the thing about them is that they rarely actually keep the water resistance for very long. After a couple wears, they're no longer water resistant. So I think the most important thing about buying a rain jacket is that you don't cheap out on the brand. Some brands I've heard good things about are, of course, Arcteryx, Patagonia, The North Face, Rab, and Montbell. Basically, all the hiking and climbing brands, they know what they're doing. Moving on to the third jacket you need, we have one I don't really see many people wear, which is weird because I think this is one of the cleanest jackets that exists. And that is the shirt jacket. It's basically like a shirt, but just a tiny bit thicker. So it gives it that extra weight that makes it look so sleek on basically anyone. Here's my favorite shirt jacket that I own. It's a Dickies jacket that I actually thrifted and I've gotten a lot of compliments on it. I've worn this casually to uni lectures and stuff, but I've also used it when going out to parties and clubs and stuff. And it's great for both. For the next essential jacket, we of course have the puffer jackets. Especially if you live in a cold country like I do, you need this one. This winter in Norway, we had temperatures as low as negative 25 degrees Celsius. Or for you Americans, that's negative 13 degrees Fahrenheit. It's crazy. <laughs> to combat this, I have a jacket from Peak Performance. And I literally wouldn't be able to leave my house this winter if it wasn't for this jacket. And a bonus is that it actually looks pretty cool when you crop it with the adjustable strings at the waist. There are of course a lot of other brands that make a lot of nice and stylish preferred jackets. It's widely available and I think if you style it right, basically any type of preferred jacket looks relatively good. The next type of jacket I personally don't really think is that practical. Its sole purpose for me is just that it looks cool. <laughs> and I'm talking about windbreakers. From my experience, they don't really add any warmth or do anything that special, they just look really cool when layered with other clothing. Well, I guess actually one useful aspect about them is that they're often very lightweight and take up little space if you want to bring them in your bag. So that's something at least. But anyways, this is my favorite windbreaker that I own. It's an old thrifted one from Stussy that I basically wear when I don't know what to wear. It's very basic, but it does the job. 
Next up, we have a jacket that you might not use every day, but you can't live without this. And it's a coat. This one is from Hugo Boss and I basically only wear this for the more classy events in my life. Every time I wear a suit and it's cold outside, I wear this over it. Every time I want to go on a date or a dinner, I wear this. But it's especially for suits that I need it. I feel like wearing like a puffer jacket over a suit, it just ruins the whole aesthetic of the suit. But instead, if you use an overcoat, it actually adds to the whole aesthetic. Different types of coats can of course also be worn with more relaxed outfits. And the range of different types of coats are astounding. The trench coat, for example, is a great pick for something like fall and spring. Moving on to the last jacket you need in your closet is something that has been very trendy recently. I'm of course talking about the workwear jacket. Every fashion dude's dream is to thrift that perfectly distressed Carhartt jacket. The beauty of this jacket is that it, it just works with any outfit. And there are multiple different models to choose from. You have the ones with hoodies or collars or logos, no logos, embroidery and so many more options. The canvas material that it's usually made from just gives it endless opportunity to customize it. And if you are as cool as me, you'll make your own from scratch. You can watch that entire process if you click up here. But anyways, that's it for today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. Let me know down in the comments if I missed a jacket that you think is absolutely essential to have in your wardrobe. And yeah.